though the fossil of Borealopelta is cracked, but not from the reason that you think it is. You're correct. It wasn't paleontologists that discovered this amazing fossil specimen. It was an oil sands worker in the Suncor mine who coincidentally had been to the Royal of Tyrol Museum only about a week before. And then while he was on the job, noticed something unusual in the rock as he was digging, shut things down. And then they called in paleontologists to come and excavate the find. And based on the first few fragments that were sent to the museum, uh, images of them that were sent to the museum, they thought that it was actually the paddle of a plesiosaur, a long necked marine reptile, because that is the type of animal that would have been expected to have been found in the oil sands. Because because those rocks were deposited under the ocean. However, when they got there, when paleontologists got there, they quickly realized that this was not a plesiosaur at all, that those round bones that they had seen in the image were scutes. They were armor plates from the back of an ankylosaur, an armored dinosaur. And this is something that they were completely not expecting to find. So they hadn't brought the correct materials in order to make what is called a field jacket. This is the protective covering that paleontologists put on top of fossils in order to protect them while they're being transported back to the museum. Fossils can be very fragile. They're also very heavy. And so you have to layer them in plaster and burlap strips, flip them over and encase them, and then they can be safely lifted. So the scientists that were there at the mine had to do the best they could with the materials they had. They had to go into town and buy whatever they could find and use what they had at the mine. And so unfortunately, when the crane started to lift the block in its makeshift field jacket, it collapsed under its own weight. And so a lot of the cracks that are in the specimen are not from the digger that originally broke into the hillside to expose the fossil. Some of those cracks, the majority of those cracks, unfortunately, were from the field jacket breaking. Um, however, the blocks broke pretty cleanly. And once they were all uh, prepared and all the rock was taken away, they were able to fit them back together like puzzle pieces. And so the animal is pretty much intact. You just see the cracks running through it, but all the parts are still there. The back half of the animal is lost though. It was probably broken off by the machinery when the fossil was first uh, discovered. So the tail, the back end, that's gone. They got a few pieces from the rubble pile, but they weren't able to find them all. But the rest of the cracks in those fossils, unfortunately, came from lifting it, an accident.